When Apple unveiled the iOS 15, they also launched the live text and visual lookup, which essentially means they are doing their own version of Google Lens. Now that the iOS 15 beta is available, let's see how Apple's new feature goes against the all-knowing Google Lens. Google and Apple took different approaches to how the app work. As you know, Google has a dedicated app for Google Lens and it also let the developer integrate it into other apps like the default camera app and it's even available on iOS via Google app. While on Apple, they integrated the feature into the stock camera app and photo app. This way, it's more seamless and you don't have to switch between apps to use the feature. But it also translates to you can't just throw tons of feature at it like Google Lens app because it will look super clustered. And before we go into the comparison, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that the iOS 15 is still in beta, so things might change when the final version comes. Let's dive in. First, let's compare how well each app detects text while aiming at the camera at it. On the iOS 15, the app could only highlight one area at a time. Every text has to be in that area, or you'll have to do it multiple times. And in order to do something to it, you'll have to tap on the icon on the bottom right first. Then there will be a multiple option for you to choose from. And when you tap on the look up button, it will show you things that are based on the knowledge of Siri, which gives a pretty informative result. Well, when you tap on the translate, the supported language are pretty limited on the iOS 15. It can only scan for 7 languages and can translate into 12, while on Google Lens, there's pretty much every language there. It's Apple first try, give them some time. Google Lens took a little different approach here. There's a slide menu that will let you choose what you're looking for, from translate to text search, homework, shopping, places, and dining. By default, it's on the search menu which will search for everything. Here, it took a little more time to let you tap on the highlight text. But when you do so, it highlights the text automatically and will let you choose which part you want. And it's really good at detecting words. Almost every word is detected here. And on top of that, if you go to the translate option, you can even translate text in real time. Live text on the iPhone just can't do that yet. Google Lens still did a better job because it can detect and translate into more languages here. Even on a challenging billboard like this, Google Lens has no problem identifying any text on it. While on Apple at first, I thought it didn't recognize any text because there's no icon pop-up, even though the text is super obvious. But when I tap and hold for a split second, it highlights the text. Sometimes you just have to do it yourself or just zoom in a bit. It works but not as well as Google Lens does. The more complicated text like the word society here is not detected on the iPhone. Google wins again. But one time that the live text on the iOS 15 really impresses me is in this picture. It's a random cat meme I found on the internet and there's a watermark on it. And there's a word animal written on it. And the iPhone did detect the word. It detected anima, not animal. 
but that's still super impressive for the app to be able to find a text that small and on top of that, it's handwritten. Google Lens don't even see it. On Google Lens, the image search takes a moment for the software to recognize the object. But when it does, it's pretty accurate. You can either just point the camera at it or you can take a photo and let the app scan it later. It works great and the results are pretty accurate. It works with pretty much everything. However, on the iPhone, I just can't get it to work at first. There must be a little star on the information icon, but there's none. Not a single photo has it. Until I found this comment on MacRumor. So immediately, I switched my region to the United States, and it worked. Sometimes. It only works on some photos, mostly plants, animals, places, and paintings. It did a pretty good job identifying plants and paintings. But for animal and places, it's just not really accurate. It has to be like those super obvious breeds of animal and a well-known places to really work. There are tons of improvements that need to be made here. Many times, there are a star, but it will only give out a similar photo that might or might not relate to the photo. That's about it. There's no way Apple First Try is going to beat Google Lens that has been developed for a year. Apple really need to put much much more effort to be able to catch up to Google. And Google will be forced to keep on getting better from now to stay ahead. Competition is always good for us consumers. So what do you guys think? Do you think Apple Live Text and Visual Lookup will be able to win against Google Lens anytime soon? Comments down below. And hit that like button if you like this video and press sub if you want to see more contents like this in the future. I've gotta go. See you guys next time. Stay safe.